guys so we are back to do the January retro pop 1970s box so I got my first one of these in December and I was actually very pleasantly surprised by how much I liked it I wasn't expecting to have any kind of nostalgia or resonance with the items in the 70s box because even though I was born in the 70s really my my decade is really the 80s and I did try the retro pop box 80s for a little while and enjoyed that one but I decided I wanted to go ahead and give a different decade a try when my subscription auto renewed before I had a chance to cancel it so I had the retro 70s box for the first time last month and I actually really liked it so I'm looking forward to seeing what this month brings and see if that like carries over so if you're interested in retro pop boxes, I will include a link down below. They do offer it in 70s, 80s, and 90s varieties. So depending on what decade you feel most close to, you can choose what kind of options are available to you. And basically it's a box of nostalgia. They send you items that are reminiscent of that time period as a way to kind of invoke some nostalgia. And to be honest, some of the boxes have been hit or miss. I usually like a couple of items in them, but I've also seen some of the other decades and, and unboxings that other people have done. And I've seen that some people have been not as enthused with it. So it's kind of hit or miss. And so we'll see whether or not this month plays out. So one of the things that I do like about the box is that it comes with everything wrapped up and it's um, got a sticker on it that says a phrase that's um, appropriate to that decade. So the 70s is can you dig it? So you can see how big this box is and how low everything is. So it looks like this box is going to be pretty light and I'm already a little worried to be honest. One thing that is kind of cool about this box is that every box includes a t-shirt that is reminiscent of that time period and so far at least the t-shirts have been really really cool so I've been happy with those. But let's see what else we've got. So so this actually the t-shirt itself looks like it is small. I had ordered a men's extra large and it looks like they sent me a women's two extra large which I don't think is actually going to fit over my boobs because of the way that they have these um, shirts fitted so I'm already kind of unhappy with that but anyway and then I got some Raz Apple Magic Fun Dip which I'm, I guess Fun Dip came out in the 70s, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that they didn't have a Raz Apple variant at that point, but we got a taxi driver figure. And one of the things that's kind of fun about Retro Pop Box is this fun fact. There's one item in every box that has a fun fact that gives you just some information about that item or what that item references. So let me put on my glasses so I can read this. So this is a figure of Travis Bickle, fully posable action figure. It's a reaction figure. And it says, yet another amazing film that almost wasn't. Due to an extremely tight budget, all the actors took significant pay cuts. De Niro, who was being offered $500,000 for other films, agreed to a $35,000 paycheck. The streets of New York provided the lighting, no additional lighting was brought in, and all the cab scenes were filled inside a real cab with Scorsese, the cinematographer, and the cameraman all crouched in the back, and the poor sound guy in the trunk, while De Niro drove through the streets of New York. The lead character's apartments were built in a condemned building that was set for destruction before filming was completed, and they even had to hire a gang to protect them from other gangs. So... That's some um, fun information regarding Taxi Driver. Again, it doesn't really appeal to me. Taxi Driver isn't a film that I really um, have any kind of affinity to, so this isn't really something that appeals to me, but I imagine it could be fun for somebody who really likes it. Next, we have a decal of a Polaroid camera, which is kind of funny, but I don't know what I would do with it. It looks feels like an iron-on patch but I don't think it's an iron-on patch I think it's just a decal and then the last thing we got was Mr. Men Little Miss Mad Libs 
definitely Mad Libs were popular when I was a kid, and that would have been in the 70s and early 80s, so that's kind of funny. And uh, of course, I remember the, what were these called? Mr. Men. I guess they were Mr. Men and Little Miss. I don't remember them being referred to as that name, but I remember those books. So that's kind of cool. The one kind of eh thing is they just gave us Mad Libs in November's box. So, and that's it. So let's take a look at the card. So the only exclusive in here was the shirt and it is for Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I do like Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I just, I think they got the sizing wrong. They were supposed to send me a men's shirt and not a woman's shirt. So that makes me a little eh on it, but you know, it's, it's kind of a funny shirt. And then apparently the wall decal, oh, I didn't realize I had two. For some reason I got two. I don't think I was supposed to get two, but I did get two. And it is a wall graphic. And it includes a coupon code for 20% off if you order from the website. So even though I don't have any use for this as a wall graphic, I will definitely check out the coupon and see if there's anything special that I like with that. So yeah, so that's the Retro Pop Box 1970s for January. I'm, I'm a little eh on this actually. The shirt was cool, although the sizing is, is an issue for me. Um, I do like the fact that they included the taxi driver reaction figure, but it doesn't appeal to me as, as far as an item is concerned. And the fact that they included a candy thing on there as one of their items, especially considering it's just a sample size, essentially you could get this in your Halloween candy. I don't think it was worth it um, this time around for the price that's paid for it, but let me know if you disagree. The Monty Python shirt was probably the coolest part of it, and usually the shirts are, um, but the other items were definitely weak this time, so I'm a little eh on it. Um, I have actually canceled the Retro Pop box because I'm not interested in trying the 90s version after seeing videos that other people have posted but it was a three month subscription so I do have one more month of the 70s box coming to me and so we'll see we'll kind of see whether or not it, it finishes with a bang or a whimper but uh, the the January box is definitely weak for me so let me know what you thought do you agree do you disagree did you love this box or do you think that you are um, on board with me calling it quits on this box at this point. So let me know what you thought. Uh, give me a like if you liked it. I hope you liked it. And definitely subscribe if you want to find out how this Retro Pop 1970s box goes out next, uh, next month, whether or not we'll have a hit or a miss with that one. So I hope to see you back soon. And in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful day.